Hello everyone, this is Richard, and we're back with another episode of Starfield Essentials. Today I'm going to be hunting for ships to steal, whether they're in space or on the ground. I'm going to start with ships in space, hopefully find some ships out there. I've got a couple of mission board entries, destroy the Crimson Fleet Ghost at Luna and destroy the Crimson Fleet Haunt 2 at Feynman. So I'm going to pick one of those and... Oh, actually, I've got a third one here, too. Destroy the Crimson Fleet Wraith at Moloch. Why don't we do that one first? All right, we are in space. Let's see how we're doing here. This ship has uh, particle weapons, EM weapons, and I've got some auto particle weapons. I'm going to turn those auto weapons off so that when I jump into an area, they don't immediately start firing and destroy whatever's there. And that looks good. All right, let's see where these ships are. There it is, right there. One ship. We'll take out the engines. Alright, now we'll dock. Now before we're docked. Before I go into the ship, I'd like to see where I am in relation to the bridge. And as you can see from this exterior view, I am, their docker is on the top of their ship and it looks like their bridge is forward. So yeah, we'll see what we can do about boarding and taking these guys. And for this activity, why don't we use our, our pistol? Sarah's with me. Hello, Sarah. Somebody down there. I see your, your range. There you are. Oh, there's Sarah with her incendiary weapon. Get out of the way, Sarah, please. Thank you. Sarah's chipping right in there. I lose as I go usually. What else we can find here? Alright, looks like action's gonna be over here. Oh, nice. Right down below. Let's see if there's another guy in here. Oh, I didn't need that pop. Oh, well. There they are. Come on over. Come on. Come on. Combat slide, pirate legend. Nope, they're above. I think that's where the bridge might be. Although, the bridge on this is forward, so it's probably not there. There might be some people up there though, so I might have to clear that out later. Yeah, here's the bridge. Oh, 
Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Nope, I was wrong. Oh, let's go forward. Alright, so we have a ladder here. Oh yeah, that's probably where the bridge is. for any contraband that's nearby. Usually there's something sitting on the counter here, but I don't see anything. Oh, there we go. It's probably some harvested organs. Pretty beautiful. All right, there's the bridge. Oh, look at that guy. He's glitching. He's ready to come through. What? Whoa, whoa. What the hell is that? Oh, Sarah with her... Chiding, I don't get that. We're in combat and suddenly I'm still firing and she has a problem with it. She probably just leave her behind on missions like this. Alright, let's see what we have. Take that. Captain's locker. Oh, okay. Cool. Take that. Okay. Now I believe. Nope, okay. There are a couple guys left. Let's go take them. All right. Down here, I believe. So again, I have to remember the layout of the ship. Remember this guy fell down here. Oh, hold on. down here oh wait a minute okay so this is how I would board if I were coming from the ground this is landing bay access right there so you'd come in here you'd go up this ladder ah. up the ladder all right have to be careful finding these guys that's forward to the bridge Some kind of odd sound going on there. I bet you these guys are up here. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear that as well. I've lost my audio for the uh, jetpack. The oh, there they are. Okay, let's see if that... Now, because I've taken out the uh, the last member of the ship, I've fulfilled my mission, which is nice. Looks like I'm level 114, working my way towards 115. Um, honestly, though, past level 60, I don't feel like I've really gained anything that um, has been really crucial. But I have a, a ton of skill points that I haven't even used yet. Something I like to do, potentially, if I'm in a fight and there's no activity. Look at that. I feel kind of bad taking out guys who have beds like that with the little plushies. Can I take these? Yeah, we'll take them. And you know what? We're going to give them to Sarah. Always a pleasure. Feel free to drop some stuff into my bag. All right. Let's give Sarah... Two plushies. Enjoy, Sarah. Leaving? Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> okay, so now let's go take over the ship. All right, this is to the bridge. Landing bay access is back there. There we go, sounds back too. Sorry, I'm embarrassing myself with my jetpack skills. There we go. Okay. All right. Now, there's a lot of discussion on uh, YouTube or Reddit, other places, Facebook, on the best way to take over a ship. 
and how to add it to your inventory. I know there's a mod that's out there. I've tried it. I'm not quite sure if it works the way I'd like it to, uh, or maybe I'm doing something wrong, but this is the way I like to uh, take over a ship and add it to my fleet. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm gonna save in case I screw this up somehow. And I'm just gonna go back through my saves and delete an old one. So we'll delete that one for the 24th. It's one way I try to keep my saves down when I'm um, playing this game. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna sit in the pilot seat. Now, I see a lot of people rec uh, recommending at this point to make this new ship your home ship. You don't wanna do that. If you do that, you're gonna end up chasing the ship uh, chasing your old ship away, and there's no reason for that. So what we're going to do is we're simply going to undock. So now we're undocked, but we still have our old ship. And notice it is not flying away. It is sitting there. So I highlight it on console, or excuse me, yeah, console, I'm hitting the A key. Now I'm going to redock. One thing I don't like when I'm playing is to have, uh, first of all, to switch over to a crappy new ship, and secondly, to have my old ship fly away, and then I have to go to a ship tech and all that kind of stuff. So I now have this new ship, well, I'm going to put this new ship in my inventory. So I'm going to ship, and I'm going to say make home ship, confirm it. You'll get a dialogue in the quarter saying Discovery is returning to its base. Discovery is actually uh, Red Wolf. Discovery is not returning to its base. Uh, it, Red Wolf is built upon a Discovery hull. Okay. So we are still there. So I'm going to now board my original ship. There you go. It did not return to its base. It stayed docked. And so I can come back here, sit in the pilot seat, And at this point, I will make my original ship my home ship. And the fleet rate, Crimson Fleet Wraith, will indeed be returning. Now, before I leave this menu, I'm going to transfer stuff that I grabbed into my cargo hold. I like that Frontier attire. It's pretty cool looking. Okay, actually, yeah, okay. Sell that later. Okay, and there's my harvested organs. I'm gonna have to get rid of those before I go to the settled symptoms. And now when I exit that menu, that ship that I stole is flying away and it is We're in my inventory. Okay, first thing I do when I get back here is I rebalance all my ship systems. And we'll throw one more into the engines, okay. Now, just to verify what I was saying, go to my ship menu, Red Wolf, Frontier. Uh, yeah, I'm still carrying around this UC Vanguard Longsword 3, this Crimson Fleet White 3 that I got in another session, and here's this Crimson Fleet Wraith. It is now in my inventory. At this point, I'm going to save again. Why don't we try landing on a moon? Let's see if we can do a, a uh, moon-based capture. All right, this is a planet. Let's try landing on uh, Moloch 1A. That's a fine looking ship. It doesn't have the uh, Sal 6830 engines because this is my NG-1 and I'm skipping the main quest so I don't have access to them. 
but that's fine. Okay. Let's find a nice place to land on this planet. That's as good as any. I like to land uh, at the at dawn, basically. So I have a full day of, of sunlight. Unless I'm looking for a resource that's, that's hard to find because the landscape is blue, then I might land at night. Before I go, I'm just going to check on my bonuses here. I still have 12 minutes and 14 seconds left, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up and I'm going to take an hour nap. Hi, Marika. I was just thinking about you. All right. Let's sleep for an hour. You uh, have a med pack? And you know what? Let's take Marika out on this mission. It's always a good day when we get to chat. Hopefully, you find Hello something again. out there. All right, let's, go. let's get out of here. I'll get back to what I was doing. You know where to find me. All right. I would love to see Marika uh, more fleshed out in a future, future Starfield content. I think that'd be great. She's got a very interesting backstory. All right. Any ships landing? don't hear anything. All right, well, if you come outside like this and you don't hear that bang that indicates a ship is landing, might as well just get back in your ship and try again. So, in fact, we don't have to get back in our ship. Let's just find another landing zone. Just move a little bit down. Try again. And if this place doesn't work out, we'll find another place out in the star field. Look around. Okay, listening. Don't hear anything. You know what, while we're here, let's just grab these two for our survey. There we go, surveyed. <laughs> okay, let's try another location. Try another moon. Let's go out here to Moloch 5D. And I'm gonna work my way around the moon, so I'm gonna start with A. Of course, by going over here, I might end up finding some ships in space as well. All right, let's land. I like to try to capture ships on these moons because they have lowered. Lower gravity, so it's easier to get from wherever you are to wherever the ship is. Alright, check our bonuses, still looking good. Let's go ahead and exit. or something on this on this uh, moon so nothing doing let's try another one or try another location if this one strikes out as well I think I might try another system go farther out to the right side of the map
Okay, let's try another star system. Farther to the right. Let's check out, what's this over here? This is one of the issues I have with vanilla Starfield. Can't just see a map and see <laughs> and see what star system you're looking at. I installed the the first mod I installed on my PC side was the one that shows you all the star system names. Made life so much easier. All right, let's land. Next to a POI. Several POIs. They have to do a POI instead of a ship, but we'll see. Don't really feel like clearing POIs tonight. Oh, there we go. Where are you at? Oh boy, it's landing right in front of me. Holy cow. There's right there. I hope it's not a UC Vanguard 3. It kind of looks like it. All right, before I go any farther, I'm going to save because if this ship takes off while I'm inside it, it throws off my whole flow. Now, I can deal with it if I have to, but I prefer not to. All right, so if you watched my earlier video, I talked about what I'm looking at when I'm running up on these ships. And... Oh, is he taking off? No, there's another ship coming down. Did you hear that? There it is. Oh, 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 look at this. All right. That thing is landing at a... Oh my goodness, it's right there. So it's right over... It landed at that other POI. Okay. All right. It's, it's listed as a structure. Okay, so as I'm running up on this ship, Trying to find out where's the bridge. Looks like it's up to the right. Oh, this might be one of these. Yeah, clip the Claymore 3. All right, let's go. Let's take this guy. Don't care about getting shot at. We are going straight in because if you take these guys out on the ground, the ship might take off. I think this is the one that leads to the bridge. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Where is everybody? Don't tell me the ship landed empty. No way. Nope. That's right. This is the one where there's two guys in the bridge and everyone else runs downstairs. Oh boy, incendiary. Alright. Okay, and now these guys are gonna run downstairs and I'm gonna have to fight them down on that second floor that doesn't actually lead that far back. Remembering a little bit from my previous video. Okay, here we go. So these guys are going to be down here. Shit. 
Look, he's clipping his gun through the wall. That's not good. All right. Now, if I remember correctly, this actually doesn't go anywhere interesting. Or I should say, it doesn't go all the way to the back of the ship, so there could be guys farther back, so I'm going to have to keep an eye out for that. Once I came to, uh, I, I raided a ship and there was a guy in the brig that I had to let out in order to shoot. Oh, Marika's out there. She's sneaking. It's one of the good parts of uh, sneaking around with a companion. Um, they don't, they tend not to run ahead of you. the bridge, Marika. Oh, that's so so nice with these stairs. Love it. We got that guy. Okay, now any contraband anywhere? Yep, there we go. Harvested organs. And where is the captain's locker and all that? There we go. Cargo hold, you take that. That, thank you. Okay, now this is my grounded takeover protocol. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save. So I don't, in case I need to back out. All right, second thing I'm going to do is I want to get a look at where I originally landed. So I originally landed over here. And if we remember, huh, there's another ship that landed at this, uh, actually it's over here, it's this structure up on the mountain, or the, the mount. Okay, <clears throat> so from my current location, my old, my original ship is, uh, is at what, a three, 3.30 position, you know, three o'clock would be here, four o'clock would be here, so, so. Or you could say it's at, uh, uh, just just a little bit south of east. Uh, and also it is, my old ship is southeast of this structure. This is important in case I lose my way and I need to find my way back to my old ship, which is what I'm gonna do. One of my principles with these takeovers is to, to the greatest extent possible, preserve your old ship. So you don't have to fool around with flying these old junkers or whatever. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make this my home ship. And I have a nice Ecliptic Claymore 3. Make it my home ship. Okay. It's now my home ship. I have things for you. Yes, thank you, Sarah. Two options here. One, I can simply exit the ship. Or two, I can go out the landing bay. The benefit of going out the landing bay is you can go out crouched and take the defenders by surprise. If you just exit the ship, you're just going to get dumped out there and have to fight. I'll just try exiting the ship. I don't feel like finding my way out of this thing. So here we go. Now I crouch immediately. Captain, hello. Oh, I am. Okay, we're going to have to go with a little heavier duty you survive, here. You will most recently believe we are no longer alone. Alright, there's another one out there. It's kind of cool that uh, Vasco's out there to, to help you too. Oh, come on. Come on. Activity detected at close range. Thanks, Vasco. Oh, where is he? There he is. Beginning combat protocol. Consider this victory cause for celebration. Right. Thank you. Well, who else is out there? What? What? Oh, 
another cliptic. Man, okay. Dang, all right. So let's loot these. Oh, that leg in the rock looks good. All right, toughest thing about dealing with some of these guys after combat is just finding out where they are. And there's Red Wolf, which is nice. After this, we're gonna try running over to that other structure and see if we can grab that ship as well. here somewhere. There he is, yep. Nice. Okay. So we have another ship over there at that structure. Normally what I would do at this point is I would run back to my ship and I would set my ship as home ship to be preserved and I know where I'm, where I'm at and everything's cool. However, I can literally see my old ship from this one and from that other location. So I'm just going to go over there and see what I can do without stealing that ship. Along the way, I'll do a little bit of surveying. Okay, that's good. In this new game plus, I haven't spoken to Vlad yet. I really don't want to get involved with the whole Starborn side of things because that eventually introduces the empty ship landing bay closed bug that's associated with Starborn events. So usually I would sell my planetary survey data to Vlad, but I haven't done that in this game. All right, let's see, what are we dealing with? Make sure I reload it here. And we'll switch to my regular gun. I'm gonna do one more save before I take on this ship. Or maybe not, I'm not quite sure what we're dealing with here. All right, let's see what's going on with this guy. Ah, it's a UC Vanguard Longsword 3. Okay, well, let's see if we can steal it. Is there anybody here? I don't know. We're not going to stick around. Let's find out if we can steal this guy. Many of us have had these UC Vanguard Longsword 3s just following us around, and they're empty and you can't sit in the pilot seat. So let's see if that's the case here. I've been on so many of these things that uh, it's not that difficult to find my way around. Yeah, sure enough, it's empty, just like all the others. Go forward. Maybe there. Try to sit in the pilot seat. Not, not, you are not authorized to pilot the ship. Well, I'm maxed out on everything, so it's not a pilot skill issue. Oh, while we're here, just check the credits. We'll take those. And we'll check. Where's the cargo bay in the ship? Oh, that was the that was the cargo bay. Where's the captain's locker? There it is. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try something that's worked one out of two times for me. By the way, the way out will. Oh, look at that. We'll take that. We'll take that. Thank you. All right behind this door, there's a little box, usually with some credits. We'll take what's in that. Thank you. Oops, sorry, Marika. All right. We're going to head out. Okay. So, this is the processing plant that we're nearby. Now the processing plant is a POI. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back towards my original ship.
Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> this is why I usually run around with grenades disabled, because I make a mistake and I, I throw them like that. Sorry, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, let's get a look at our map. So here's my original ship. So if I head uh, on a bearing left of the marker, I will find my original ship. So, so there's there's what it thinks my home ship is, which is indeed my home ship, the one I stole. But my red wolf is over here. So we're gonna head this way. Now the other thing I'm gonna do is, in fact, there's there's red wolf right there. There it is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk along this way. And when I get a chance to drop an outpost, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use that as a way to find that you see uh, you see Vanguard Longsword 3. This is just sort of an extra step I take in the event that the POIs change for some reason, which I don't think they, okay, here we go. So the outpost marker just went from grayed out to white right here. So I'm going to put it right there. Okay. So what I'll know is if I get near this outpost marker and I turn and I look, there's a ship behind there. Right there. Okay. All right. With that put in place, I do that when uh, when I grab a ship that doesn't land at a POI, I put an outpost marker near it, and I'm going to try a trick to see if I can go back and steal it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. For now, we're going to... Actually, you know what? We don't even have to uh, run back to our ship since we know where it is. It's this landing area. We can just fast travel. And we're not fast traveling to ship. That would take us to that ship we just stole because it's considered our home ship. We're going back to the original ship that we landed in. And there she is. Get back inside. And now you go into the bridge and you sit in this chair. And you make this your home ship. All right, so now I have my home ship back and I've added a few more ships to my inventory. There it is, that uh, ecliptic claymore. So while I'm here, I'm going to transfer items that I looted. Okay. It'd be nice if there were a button that would say something like store all items received in the last few minutes or something so you wouldn't have to go with all this manual stuff. Sarah, I'm going to try, just check my bonuses again while I'm here. All right, I'm going to try one more thing. I'm going to try exiting and see if a ship lands near me, just for the heck of it. Okay, I don't hear the noise. Okay, so we're going to try a trick here to see if we can steal that... Uh, you see Vanguard. What we're going to do is we're just going to fly to someplace else. We're going to try to fly to Huygens 2B. When 
once was a lady directly on her feet. Okay, don't need to hear that dude. Let's fly back now. Whether well, the UC Chimera 3 in orbit. I sure could but, use uh, your help. We're dead in the water here. I had a what good feeling do? about you. We just need a little. Two units of ship parts will do. All right. You're I'll a lifesaver. Here, take these for your help. Oh, 4,500 credits for two ship parts. All right. Okay, now let's go back and land where I dropped that outpost. Let's see if we can steal that UC Vanguard Longsword 3. You Seeing sure as the last time I. Stop, Captain. Looks pretty dead out there. Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> There's the ship I stole previously, right there. There's my Red Wolf. And up here. There it is. Let's see what's up there. See if this works. Oh, well, you know, while we're at it, might as well check this case here. Take that, thank you. I'll have to check this out afterwards, but for now. Incidentally, when I tried this before and it didn't work, I tried all the usual tricks. I tried going to uh, uh, Venus, waiting 24 hours, all of that didn't make a difference, unfortunately. But let's we'll see if this time the leave and return trick works. And if not, I will have something to report. Yeah, no, still not authorized. Well, who knows? Maybe there's some counter that's associated with this. Oh, hold on, grab that. Steal a trauma pack while we're at it. All right, while we're here, why don't we check out that POI? empty. Oh, we got some loot though. Let's see what we got. 71 credits. Woo oh, I guess this, this gives me a chance to show how I I try to solve master locks. Okay, so when it's a four deep like this, I usually auto slot the first one just to start taking pieces off the board. Um, otherwise, it could be kind of a real grind and you can get a timeout on these locks. So I try to get that first one done immediately. Next thing I do is I work from this center out. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm gonna probably look for a three by three to clear the center. One, two, three. Okay, so I'm gonna be using two and 12 to clear the, the center. So 212 is now in my head. Now I'm looking for the second or the, the uh, 
next one. And that one has one, two, three. It's only got three. Huh, one, two, three. Okay, so let's see if there's any one, two, threes that might work. There aren't any. So we'll try for a two. Right there. So I've got two, twelve, seven, four. Two, twelve, seven, four. Two, twelve, seven, four. And now the outside. Two, twelve, seven, four. Two, twelve, seven, four. Two, twelve, seven, four. Two, twelve, seven, four. Seven, four, two, twelve. And that's my method for opening those. All right. All right, nothing much to write home about with this place. there was I guess not I know I could be more discerning I just spam the, the collect button I don't really worry about it too much all right so there's my ship over there let's go ahead and fast travel over there All right, so before we go, I'm sure that my 50% boost has worn off, so let's go ahead and renew that. Got to find Sarah, make her my companion again. Back, eh? How's it going? Hello, Sarah. Hey there. Glad to see you. Always. Point the way and we'll be off. It's been a real treat. Any news to Marika. share? Marika. Marika is, is, just makes me sad sometimes. Okay. We'll sleep for an hour. Local hour. That huh, was a perfect way to end the day. Let's offload our loot. carrying something extra because I'm in 89 I wasn't there before that's all right though now when I was coming into orbit around here I noticed that there were some ship signs so maybe I can catch a little uh, don't see it now okay Take a look at our missions. Let's do another one of these. Oh, I actually forgot something. Hold on. I don't care about that outpost. Ah, you know what? Let's leave it. Maybe try another time to see if I can um, get that UC Vanguard ship. Okay, let's head over there.
Heading over to Feynman. Oh, oh, oh. Spawned in. Spacer coyotes, huh? Oh, is that so? Spacer coyotes. Well, guess what? You're not enough time to make the smoke. We could use a vacation. If you're feeling generous, you could help us out. Or we could just dust your ship. Well, if that's how you want to play it. I do, fools. Now, this is where I gotta turn off my particle weapons, because they will just ruin these guys. Try to take a quick look. Looks like my docker's coming in right under the bridge. And we are locked in. Remember to watch your corners and check your six. There we go. You know what? Let's switch to a more fun weapon. Oh, you know what? Down here, there's there might be some loot bomb here. I don't see any contraband here. Yeah, there's the bridge. And any contraband back there? No? Okay. Check this out. Oh, look at that. What a view. What a view of Red Wolf. This game is awesome. Huh. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Let's see if there's any anything hanging out. Cargo bay. Now I know that cargo goes into your cargo bay after you steal it, but there's hardly anything there. I don't mind just grabbing it. You know what? I don't see any contraband on this ship. Scanner. Scanner isn't noticing anything either. All right. Okay, so we know the protocol. Sit in the seat. I'll do a save while I'm at it. All right, undock. Select the ship, redock. Make this my home ship. Hi there, Captain. Hey, Marika. Now I'm just going to board directly from this menu. Captain on deck. ship again. And now I have eight ships in my little fleet. Nice. Clean set there. Alright, 
reset everything back to where I need it. Alright, I think that is it for today. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Starfield Essentials. We took a look at stealing ships in space, stealing ships that were grounded as well, and tried the trick of getting a UC Vanguard Longsword 3 that you're not able to pilot. Unfortunately, that trick didn't work, but I hope you enjoyed it nevertheless. So I will see you in the Starfield. <laughs>